Good news, everyone. We've made it to the end of the week. It's Friday, September 15th. Welcome to the President's Daily Brief. I'm Mike Baker, your eyes and ears on the world stage. Let's get briefed. First up, we find ourselves in Delaware, where Hunter Biden faces unprecedented charges by Special Counsel David Weiss. This marks the first time a sitting president's child has been indicted by the Justice Department. It's a surprising development after a collapsed plea deal, and it threatens to ignite a high-profile trial during President Biden's 2024 re-election campaign. On the other side of the fence, former President Trump, currently leading in GOP primary polls, faces several trials, also likely to take place during the heat of the campaign. It's fair to say the 2024 presidential campaign season is looking like none we've ever seen before. And I don't mean that in a positive way. Later, we delve into an extraordinary closed-door meeting in the U.S. Senate, during which the nation's leading tech executives voiced their support for government regulations on artificial intelligence. One of those executives in attendance, Elon Musk, has recently found himself at the center of a controversy involving his Starlink company and the conflict in Ukraine. We'll have an update, and it involves missiles hitting the Russian port of Sevastopol. And in today's Back of the Brief, a leaked U.S. naval intelligence report spotlights the alarming speed of China's naval expansion. Spoiler alert, they've surpassed U.S. production rates. <laughs> 